Hi there, Jen Roke here at Stamp Camp with Jen.com. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Summerfield, Florida, and welcome to today's project video. I have a quick little video um, that I wanna share with you today that we made at my recent stamp camps. Um, we made these cute little sour cream containers. Um, I'm gonna show you how quick and easy they are to make them. You can customize them with whatever you have on hand. Um, and they're just really fun to make. So before we get started, I just wanted to share a couple things with you. Um, if you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you haven't yet, please be sure to check out my Facebook page, my YouTube channel, um, Pinterest, and then my blog is stampcampwithjen.com. Um, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe um, at stampcampwithjen.com. There is a bar at the very top that says subscribe that you can click on to sign up for a weekly newsletter that I send out every Friday morning. Um, and you can also subscribe to have your blog, my blog post sent directly to your inbox and your email, which is great. Um, if you haven't yet, head over to YouTube and hit subscribe for me as well. Um, and then hit that bell so you never miss a video notification. And then if you're on Facebook, um, don't forget to join me there as well. I go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern time um, where we make a new project. And it's always lots of fun. I love seeing you guys there. So I'd love it if you join me, okay? All right, and then if you decide to shop with me, I would love it so much. I do have a rewards program for my loyal customers. For every $25 increment in a single order before shipping and tax, you earn a point. Once you earn 20 points, you get a $50 shopping spree on me. I pay the tax, the shipping, everything. Points don't expire. You don't have to earn them in a certain amount of time. The only thing is you have to keep track of your points. I do not track them for you. Um, if you head over to stampcampwithjen.com, you'll see this little picture there that has all the details for my program, as well as a free um, tracker that you can print off to keep track of your points when you shop with me, okay? That's just a fun way I like to reward my customers. Um, we do have last chance products going on right now. The 2021 to 2023 in colors are retiring. May 1st is the last day to get these. Um, many items are sold out or low inventory. Don't forget your ink refills with your ink pads. And then don't forget also, we are doing a color refresh this year. So there are 11 colors that are going away. If you haven't got your supplies for those, the ink refills, the ink pads, the cardstock, the Stampin' Blends, make sure you get those before they're gone for good. I know a lot of them are already very low inventory or have already sold out, so hopefully you got those in time, okay? And then other big news is with the new catalog, um, there will be price changes. A lot of prices are going up. That's just kind of how things are going in the world today, um, unfortunately. So with the price changes, or with the new annual catalog, there will be price changes. So um, if you want to see the full list that I've compiled, go to stampcampwithjen.com. You'll see this picture here, and I have a full list of everything that's going up in price and the, diff the price differences, okay? So you can stock up on your favorites before they go up in price. And then the new catalog comes out May 2nd is when you'll be able to order from this catalog. Um, we are using a new product today, so that new product you will be able to order on May 2nd on Tuesday, okay? And then I am offering paper shares and my in color club. I have all the details at stampcampwithjen.com. Um, you need to sign up by April 30th, okay? So if that's something you're interested in, reach out to me by April 30th to sign up. And then last but certain, certainly not least, <laughs> if you are local to Central Florida, I live near the Villages and I do Stampin' Bingo about three times a year. So my next Stampin' Bingo event will be June 3rd from 1 to 4 at the VFW Post in Bellevue, Florida, which is near the Villages. Um, we have lots of fun. We play lots of bingo. We have... Um, Lots of chances to win prizes. We make cards in between each game. Um, and usually at bingo is when I bring out all my new retired stuff that I have on hand as well. So if that's something you're interested in trying out, head over again to stampcampwithjen.com. You'll see the little link that has all the details with what is included and the prices and everything. You need to sign up by May 12th so that I can order all the prizes and everything for your swag bags, okay? 
All right, so that was a lot of information, but now we can get on to today's project. So I'm gonna bring my little paper piece out here so I can show you how we're gonna do this. So I am using the beautiful Hues of Happiness designer series paper. This unfortunately is sold out as well, um, but it's what I used for my stamp camp projects that we did last week. So um, I use this paper. Um, so what you're going to do is whatever pattern you want to be face to be on the outside, you want to put it face down. So do keep in mind too, this is a four inch by six inch piece of paper. So if it's directional paper that you're using, you need it to be where um, it's in the right direction on the long side, if that makes sense. So if you're looking at the six inch side, if you're looking at it, I guess horizontally is the best way to say it, this would be the right is this the right way? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to look at my sample. I think that's right. No, this this would be the right way. Yes, this would be the right way because we're gonna roll it like a little toilet paper roll. So this is the right direction that you want your paper to be going. Try to use something that's not directional so you don't confuse yourself like I do. <laughs> but if you look at it horizontally, this is the right way if you're cutting your paper, okay? All right, so I want the little flowers to be on the outside, but this is really pretty too. You could use that as well. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a strip of tear and tape and we're gonna add it to our bottom section here. And then we're gonna put one on one of the sides. It doesn't matter which one, just you wanna strip a tear and tape along the edge of one of your sides, okay? Now, I always take a bone folder and rub it on the back of my tear and tape just to reinforce it and make sure it's on there nice and tight. Now I'm gonna take my spatula end of my take your pick tool, that's the easiest way to get that backing off. And I'm gonna take the backing off of just the one on the side and then I'm gonna start the tear and tape backing on the bottom edge, but I don't wanna take it completely off. I'm just starting it and we're gonna fold it down just so I can grab it later, okay? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this piece and you're gonna fold it so it kinda of looks like a little toilet paper roll. So we want this tear and tape to go over the top of this edge here. Um, so we're just gonna line up our edges. You wanna go about a half an inch over and you're just lining those up. And it is a little tricky because you're trying to use that paper <laughs> and it wants to bend all kinds of funny ways. Now, be sure to really use your thumbs and really get that tear and tape on there nice and tight so it doesn't come open later, okay? So now we have this little piece here that we can pull off. That's the easy way to get that tear and tape off of there. So now we wanna look for our seam we want our seam to kind of be off center here. And then we're gonna take that edge where we took the tear and tape off and we're gonna pinch that shut. We're gonna line those edges up and pinch it shut. And again, use your fingers and really reinforce that tear and tape, okay? Now you're gonna hold it kind of like a little fish tail, right? You have the fish tail here and we're gonna pinch this part. So it's kind of perpendicular to it. So we're gonna pinch this. And what you wanna do is you pinch those edges and I fold it back and forth a little bit to kind of get a little bit of a crease there and really get a nice pinch. Now, if you do that, it will stay closed on its own and then you just pinch it open whenever you wanna open it to fill the candy. So you really don't need to staple it or glue it or anything. I don't like, when I have to give somebody something that they have to tear open that I've made. So I try to make it so they don't have to rip it. Um, so this is the easiest way there. So you just need to really pinch it and kind of fold it back and forth a little bit to kind of make like a little seam at the top and that will keep it closed. So it's self-closing, it's really cool. Now we'll do a little decorating and I'm gonna show you I grabbed it just a minute ago and now I can't find it, of course. Hold on. So the new product that we're using today is this Circle Saying stamp set. So this stamp set is on page 17 of the new 2023 to 2024 annual catalog. And it comes with, it's a bundle and it comes with a two 
and 3 8 inch circle punch. Now I showed at my stamp camp classes, um, and unfortunately I can't do this over the camera, but at my stamp camp classes, I showed them the difference between, I had a two inch circle punch and then this new two and three eighths circle punch. This is so much lighter than the old punches. I don't know what they did to it, but it's a lot, it's not as heavy as the old ones. So it's pretty nice in my opinion. Um, I like that it's not so heavy. Um, but that is the bundle between these two. And I can't remember off the top of my head. Hold on. I can't show you the catalog, but I can tell you how much it is. The bundle is $41.25, okay? And you will be able to order it, like I showed you before here in the picture. You will be able to get this bundle on May 2nd. That's when you'll be able to start ordering this guy, okay? So... The sentiment that we're using here is the Because You're Awesome. I really like that one. So we are going to stamp that. I have a little strip of basic white here, and we're going to use some gorgeous grape ink and stamp this. And again, I always like to stamp off just to make sure I've got good coverage. We're going to stamp this, and then we're going to use this little label die cut here. This is from the mini pocket envelopes dies. So that's where I got this little die cut from. It measures about one and a quarter by two and a quarter wide. So if you have something similar that's one and a quarter by two and a quarter, you should be good. But we're just gonna die cut that out there. I'm gonna go grab my little mini machine. I forgot to grab that, hold on. So um, just to refresh, if you guys use your mini machine and you have a hard time getting the dies to, or getting the plates to go through in your mini machine, don't forget you can swap out that bottom plate for this gray number three plate and it helps a lot. And also staggering your plates so that they're like in an E shape like this will make it a lot easier as well for you to get that, um, machine to grab those plates. So let me get this in here. I'll try to do it without grabbing my tape. See if I can get it to line up here. Let's see if I can get it to work with me. There we go, let's give it a try. And see, it's not working with me because I need to stagger my plates a little bit more and now it's grabbing it. There we go. Perfect. Nice. I always like when that works out. All right. So now to decorate, and I did have candy. I forgot to grab that over here as well, but you'll put your candy in the little pocket. Is it this side? Yep. You'll put your candy. I was able to fit, how much did I put in here? I oh, grabbed the candy from one of these. I found a big bag at Sam's Club that has Heath and Reese's and little Hershey's Kisses and Kit Kats and all kinds of stuff. So I put about three pieces of candy in here and that fits perfectly, okay? And you can close your seam and it'll stay shut just like that, okay? Now, we're gonna take this and I'm gonna put a little dimensional and pop it right up there. Let me grab my dimensionals. So you just wanna stick one right in the center. And then wherever your opening is, so that's the top. So I'm just gonna stick it right in the middle here. And then we're just gonna put a little ribbon at the top here. So I'm using the Fresh Freesia. This is retiring and it is on sale and I believe it's still available. I wanna say it's like $2.80 for this ribbon. So if you don't have that yet, go ahead and snag that. And we're gonna grab about either like an eight or nine inch piece. I'm gonna use a nine inch piece just to give me some wiggle room. And I know this is, a lot of people hate ribbon tying. <laughs> but it just adds a little pizzazz to our project here. Now you can, like I said, you could staple it closed or do a little hole punch and tie a ribbon in it that way to make it um, stay closed. But 
I really just, like I said, I don't like when people have to tear open something that I made. I would much rather give it to them without them having to tear it open. So that worked pretty well. Just gotta cut the ends here. It's a little short on this side, but that's okay. There we go. And now we're gonna take a little mini glue dot and we're gonna put a glue dot on the back here. I have this old glue dot dispenser. I love it. I really hope, I've put a recommendation into Stampin' Up that they should come out with something like that for our glue dots because I think that would make it so much better <laughs> than what a lot of people do where they have like the rubber band or whatever to keep track of where it is. But I, it's like a tape dispenser sort of. It's an old glue dot dispenser. I love that thing. All right, so that's all I did. I just put the little bow at the top and that's it. So like I said, you can make a bunch of these. I made one in the little, um, you know, different patterns here. You could use that little tie dye pattern that's on the back, whatever. So I really hope you enjoy this quick and easy product. This would be a great craft fair idea as well. Um, like I said, if you need any of the supplies for this project, please shop with me, Jennifer Roke at stampinup.com. I would love the chance to earn your business. Um, if you need paper shares, or In Color Club, if you'd like to sign up for those, please out, reach out to me by April 30th, okay? And then I'll start sending invoices the beginning of May. Now, do keep in mind, um, I am going on the Norway incentive trip at the end of May, so I will do my best to get everything out before I leave, but there may be a chance that I have to wait until I get back, so it could be early June before you're... I get a chance to cut and ship everything. So just please be patient. I will let you know if that happens, if there's any delays or anything, okay? Um, all right, guys. Well, if you have any questions about anything or if you like my project, please give me a little thumbs up or a heart and let me know in the comments below. I love hearing what you guys think, okay? And until next time, be safe and happy stamping. Bye-bye.